let's take a look at the example questions for similar polygons and scale factors. Our first example A says, suppose triangle ABC is similar to triangle JKL. Based on the similarity statement, which angles are congruent and which sides are proportional? So we have two triangles. One, two, this one is A, B, C, and this one is J, K, L. Now it says which angles are congruent and which sides are proportional. Now remember when we designate a triangle by letter like this, it is specifically in order. So when we have A, B, C, and J, K, L, we know that those sides or those uh, vertices are all in order. So that means that A is congruent to J. Those two angles are the same. B is congruent to K. Those two angles are the same. And C is congruent to L. Those two angles are the same. So we know that if we mark this one with 1, we can mark the other one with 1. We can mark this one with 2, and this one with 2. And we could mark this one with 3, and this one with 3. So we can identify which angles are congruent. And then we know the sides that are proportional are the sides which are um, corresponding. So AC, this side here, is congruent to JL on the other one. Let's do that in orange. It's congruent to JL over here. And KL across the bottom is congruent to BC on the other one. And then AB, of course, would be congruent to JK over here. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says that MNPQ, so starting here at this corner, whoops, let's do that right, there we go. Starting over here at this corner, we have MNPQ is similar to RSTU, RSTU. What are the values of X, Y, and Z? Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that if the two figures are similar, and since the letters specify the order that we're talking about, it looks like the right-hand figure here really needs to be inverted horizontally or flipped horizontally in order to actually lay over top of the other one. So let's do that. Let me see if I can grab it and flip it here. Highlight. And we'll try. Yeah, there we go. So now we have these two things in the right sort of layout, and we know that the 30 unit side corresponds to the 18 unit side, and x, which is one of the values we're looking for, corresponds to the 25 unit side. So we can say that 30 and 18, or 30 over 18, is equal to 25 over x. So now we have our corresponding sides together. So that means that we can multiply 18 times 25 and 30 times x, and we get 30x is equal to about 180 and 90, 270. And then we divide both sides by 30, so we get x equals 9. So that means that this side over here is 9, and then angle z corresponds to this 115 degree angle here, and the angles of course are congruent, so this angle here is 115 degrees, and then side y is the same relationship as the other others up here were to 15. So we can say that 25 is to 9 the way that y is to 15. And of course I had to put y on top because it's on the bigger shape and 15 is on the smaller shape, right? So I have the smaller shape 9 on the bottom. So I have the 15 on the bottom. Okay, so now we have 9 times y is 9y. And 25 times 15, well 10 times 15 would be 250 plus half that 125, so we got 375. So y equals 375 divided by 9. Well, I don't know if I can do that one in my head. Okay, so now let's take a look at example C. Example C says ABCD, so that's our outside figure here. ABCD is similar to, let's change colors, AMNP, so AMNP. So we have an outer rectangle similar to an inner rectangle. We need to find the scale factor 
and the length of BC. So we're looking for the length of this side up here. So the first thing we need to do is find the scale factor because we know that BC will compare to 40 in whatever that factor is. So we'll call this side up here Y just for the convenience of only having a single letter. And we know we need to compare Y to 40. But we don't know what that ra ratio is yet. We do know that CD is the same as BA. So if BA is 45 and MA is 30, then our comparison is the same as 45 to 30. So we can do that. We could do 45 compares to 30 the way that y compares to 40. And again, y on top because the 45 is, and y is longer than 40 based on our shapes here. So now we can multiply diagonally. 30y, 30y equals uh, 1600, and 5 times 40 is 200, so 1800. Divide both sides by 30, y equals 60. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, that would make sense. 45 is 1 and a half times 30, and 60 is 1 and a half times 40. So yeah, I'll buy that. That seems like a reasonable answer. And there we go.